Hello everyone, I got another Bible review for you here. We got the Chronological Study Bible. Uh, our friends at Thomas Nelson have put out in a new international version. They sent me this review copy and uh, I'm very impressed with the contents of it. Just gonna let you know that this Bible comes in different uh, uh, Bible translations. I just got, I just happen to have the new international version. You also can find it in the New King James. And uh, here's the ISBN number for it. And uh, basically this is the chronological order type of Bible that some people love to have just to read the scripture in a more kind of uh, historical timeline. And this edition uh, is uh, has been produced in a 9.5 text, which is excellent for readability. And as you can see, it comes in this lovely uh, modern kind of uh, clamshell. Very sturdy and uh, very nice modern design as well. I like it. So let's take a look. This edition is the black leather soft edition. It comes in like, like in a three piece cover. As you can see it's sewn right here on the spine. And uh, the, uh, the spine comes with uh, horizontal chronological study Bible printing with foil, gold foil, New International Version logo and Thomas Nelson. It comes with four imprinted uh, hubs with also some foil lines, like gilt lines, very classy. Uh, this leather soft feels very good quality and uh, I, I like these leather softs for, for a reasonable price they have, they, they deliver good quality. Uh, it comes with also perimeter stitching all around, one single royal blue uh, double sided satin ribbon and uh, it comes with a black cardstock liner as well. I wish for a Bible like this they would have used a vinyl liner for strengthening the spine so it doesn't break apart a bit of usage. And uh, the first thing we find is a presentation page and then a very interesting uh, second presentation page. very colorful uh, picture in the background and here we have the, the chronological study bible this whole bible has an excellent paper full color printing is filled up with with uh, uh, drawings and charters and and pictures but the paper is very very opaque so it, it makes it easy for uh, for reading through it without a lot of distraction this is a table of contents and this edition you're gonna find that it's been divided in nine different sections they call it uh, epochs uh, where they fit in all the books of the Bible according to the timeline okay and uh, that's gonna help you to understand how the story of the Bible developed throughout time and uh, maybe to understand also when you read a normal Bible where you're at in terms of history. We go here time charts, time panels, uh, you can see already there's some pictures here and uh, if we turn the, the, the page you want to see no show through from the other side. This is a very well executed Bible. I like the paper, I like the content and I love the colors of it. We go here a list of contributors, introduction. I really uh, uh, advise you to read this to help you understand how to use this uh, Bible. This is the preface to the New International Version. This is the 2011 text, by the way. So, for example, we go here, Epoch 1. Uh, gives a bit of uh, introduction before the patriarchs uh, creation to 1000 BC and it's going to give us also here a bit of background in the history. I'm not really sure how accurate these years are because according to my understanding of scripture 
from Adam to us, there's probably been around 6,000 years. Now here he's already talking about 10,000 years. So again, sometimes you're gonna have to keep an open mind to whatever the text may say. These are opinions of men, and uh, I'm not so much concerned about exa the exact dates. I am more concerned about how the story, the biblical story, is being developed throughout time. So, he's gonna tell us about the peoples and groups, the beginning of human civilization, the biblical literature, and then we go here, transition article about the book of Genesis. And uh, here we have the first book of Genesis biblical text. Very nice, I really like the way that reads, very well spaced in between the lines in the double column, okay, in a paragraph format. Some of the titles are gonna be in a, in a dark red as well as the chapter numbers. And then between the text, you're gonna have all these uh, articles explaining what was, was going on within the biblical text. Also, you're gonna find down below the translator notes, which I think also are great to have. And uh, you're gonna find that this bio is just as you can see is filled up with all this type of information that you want to read so it's going to show you a bit more this is epoch 1 that you got here in epoch 2 so here's the beginning of epoch 2 and this is going to be exactly the same way throughout the whole bible we're going to have epoch 3 4 and you can see the different epochs have different colors 5 you got timelines Six so here, seven, and you can see this plenty, plenty of uh, information everywhere. Historical, archaeological. I love the way that the the, the, the design of this. I mean, it's it really gives you a, a sense of uh, archaeology and history. This is a nine. And then at the end of this Bible, we're going to find also a lot of extra information, in this case cultural and historical topics. We're going to have also a glossary of names. We're going to have a concordance, which is pretty exhaustive, as you can see here, it's pretty thick and very readable. I really like the way it's a two column, the way this concordance is being laid out. I mean, the whole Bible has a very nice font size, uh, uh, has breathing space, it feels fresh, it feels crisp, it feels sharp and is in the eye. Then we got index of scripture uh, passages here for the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then for those who like to have some reading plans, here we've got the Chronological Study Bible reading plans, uh, which I think are very neat as well. And then at the end we got uh, some maps as well, full color maps and thick cardstock. And at the end. So this is it, this is the Chronological Study Bible Put out by Thomas Nelson uh, in the new international version. I will leave a direct link to this Bible if you like to purchase it. And uh, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Make sure you have activated the notification bell down, down there so you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.